Time for more on the weather now and Amelia's headed to the hills tonight. With cool conditions on the way Mills. Yeah, that's right, Rosanna. We're smack bang in the middle of a run of mild days and cool nights. And the mercury is set to dip a little lower before the weekend arrives. Last night, well, we saw a low of 13.5 degrees. Today in the city, our top was 23, and right now it's 20 degrees. Now, we did see light showers lingering about some coastal areas and the southern hills, while showers and storms fired up about the pastoral districts. Temperatures were generally below average statewide, but expect that to change by the weekend once a high pressure system develops to the south of us on Friday and heads east. Another trough is due in early next week. Further west, tropical cyclone Charlotte should remain off the WA coast as it weakens over coming days. Elsewhere, showers on the way for Canberra tomorrow and for Sydney. Back home, there is a slight chance of thundery showers about the far northeast corner tomorrow. Moomba could see one. 30 is the forecast top there. 26 for Port Augusta and Port Pirie. Further south, generally a dry day aside from a possible light shower about the coasts and southern Mount Lofty ranges. Up to 21 in Port Lincoln, 23 is the top for Whaler and Clare, 24 for Kadena, 22 is the top for Nuriutpa and Murray Bridge, 20 for Victor Harbour and Mount Gambier and up to 25 in Renmark. In the city, down to 13 degrees overnight. Then expect a few clouds around tomorrow, 23 is the forecast top. On metro waters, south easterly winds to 10 knots, tending south westerly around midday, reaching up to 25 knots north of Brighton later. Looking ahead, even colder overnight into Friday, down to 11 degrees. Then a mostly sunny day, up to 24, sunny and 28 Saturday up to 30 degrees on Sunday. Now before I go, let's check out tonight's ray of sunshine. She's giving plenty of kisses and cuddles now, but it's hard to believe two-year-old Luna, the American staffy, was fighting for life when she arrived at the Animal Welfare League last month. She's one of more than 500 animals in their care right now who need your support. And there's an easy way to double your donation. Tomorrow's Giving Day. It's on for 24 hours from midnight tonight, where your donations will be matched by a number of generous AWL donors. Twice as much help for beautiful animals just like Luna. And if you can help out, the website to do so is awlgivingday.org.au. They do such great work there, guys. Sure do. Thanks for that, Mills. Well, that's all the news for now. I'll have updates through the evening. Now, also, if you're wondering where Jane is, she actually has COVID, so she's a little under the weather, but we'll be back next week. Get well, Jane, from all the Adelaide 17 for now. It's good night. Good night.